Hey guys, this is Chidero, Chidero's Bling, Chidero's Designs, and we have a really super awesome design today. This is by Suzanne HB. We're on Instagram, Crazy Just Might Work, and it is called the Ornamental Frame Design. So, as most of you know, it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and I have my campaign going to raise awareness as well as a contest. So, all of my bracelets in this month are done in pink or breast cancer awareness colors and of course they have to be blinged so this one will be given to a, a breast cancer patient make sure that you do log on to my Instagram account check out all of the rules and the contest prizes so Hulk only design obviously is from Suzanne single chain base we're just going to be adding a border so you need just two colors as I did here or you can add up to three or four to achieve a different look okay so I'd like to give a big shout out to someone super special to me right now Blair uh, and I'm gonna dedicate this to Blair for uh, my appreciation for my smiles lately haha <laughs> super sweet okay so get your single chain ready and if you want to see how to add some bling just uh, hang on and we'll start that process next all right so here is my single chain already complete the size of my wrist so just quickly if you're new to adding beads to a single chain the easiest way that I see is using the loom. So you want to do the fishtail stitch pretty much. So you do your figure eight and put one band on top. You can use your fingers or your hook, but we want to take that figure eight bottom band just up and over. And that is our cat band. So we have a cat band and then a plain band and then we're going to take our beaded band and place that on top and then always bring up and over the bottom band like this okay so right here you have your cap band you have a plain band and then your beaded band so then the next band because we're doing every other in my in my case I'm doing every other you want to pull that bottom band again up and over and then after you have a plain band you just simply go back to your beaded band and so you're only going to have two bands on your loom at a time like that okay so if you choose to use these type, this type of a bead, to me it's the easiest. And then you always want to end with a plain band, like so. Okay, so that's how you would make it with the beads. And then obviously if you do not wish to use beads, you would just use plain bands making your single chain the size of your wrist like a boss. <laughs> okay, so even though I have bands on every, or beads on every other band, we're still going to loop through every band. So you're gonna start out on your with your cap band, and we're gonna pull a band through like this. Okay, so the way that the beads are, are with the cap band to the side. The way we're going to loop this is we're going to go to the side here. So it can look a little bit confusing. This is how um, Suzanne will teach. She will tell you to turn it to the side and grab the two back bands. Now, it's no different than if you are holding 
your single chain with this band here you just want to grab the two side bands okay because we're going to loom all the way up the left and then come back and loom down the right so as long as you're on the side you're good to go okay so once you have the single chain on your hook this is when you want to go ahead and grab your next band and just pull a single chain through all four loops and close it up okay so now we're through the cap band and the first chain okay so our next step is we need to do the leaf stitch so the leaf stitch we've done several times it's one that Suzanne has made up so that's when we take our two bands and we weave so I go under my first over my second under my third and over my fourth and I take it pull it down put my finger down here whichever band you pull on the opposite goes up like that okay so once you have that leaf stitch on your hook we want to pull it through both loops like this okay so we have this three loops like that so but what we want to do is we need to take this first and second loop off of our hook and just kind of let it sit there for a second we want to go back up through the next chain and line in my case it's going to be this without a bead chain right there and we're going to leave this that's the other side of this band that's on the hook we're going to let that one sit for a minute and we want to take this part and we want to add it back to the hook like that and then we just want to slide it underneath the two bands in that single chain like that and now we want to take this other side and simply close it up so you can see on the outside it is the same exact band and then the other band is resting in the center okay so again we want to go through another link on our single chain in my case it's this beaded band so I'm going through from the back to the front from the side there and that puts five loops on our hook and we just want to pull one plain band through all five loops just like that okay and since I'm going up I want if you're if you have beads it's easy to kind of uh, your guide is um, you're always going to be looming to the left or if you're right-handed to the right but always to the same side so it's kind of easy to make sure that you're in line okay so after you have the single band which is two loops on your hook this is when we want to do the leaf stitch again so I have my first band and then my back band is on top so I want to go under my first over my second under my third and over my fourth weaving it through and then just pull one band and then we're going to take that through the two loops on our hook like this so without closing it up I'm going to leave it like that I'm going to undo that first one now my next band I want to go through through on the chain is a plain band so I go through back to front I want to grab the right loop pull it back on my hook pull it through the single chain like that and then we end by connecting this one right there okay so when you have three loops on your hook you always go into the next link on your chain so you have five and then you pull through your plain band through all five loops 
and then close it up. It doesn't look like much right now, but as we uh, go further, you'll start seeing your, your design. So when you have the two loops on your hook, that's when you know you need to do the leaf stitch. So again, it is under, over, under, over, pull on one, pull it through the two loops, and then instead of reconnecting, we're going to release the first loop off our hook, go into the next chain, put back this one here on the end, like that, and then we want to pull it through the single chain and then attach the other side like so. Okay, so mine is always on the side when I'm looming it. All right, so then my next one to go through will be the one with the bead. So back to front, five loops, plain band goes through all five loops. And then close it up. And now we just have that plain band. We do our leaf stitch. So if you need further instruction, you can always rewind. Pull that leaf stitch through. So I release the right side. Release the first loop off my hook. Go in line, grab the next single chain. Put the right side back on the hook. Pull that through the single chain. And then close up by adding the next loop. Then we have three loops on our hook. We need to go into the next chain. And then we just pull through a plain band like that. So you should have something very similar. And then there is the back. Okay, so two loops on my hook. I know I have to do the leaf stitch, pull that through, release this one off, go through my chain, grab the furthest one to the right and pull it through the chain and then reconnect the next one. Then we need to go back through our chain. All five loops, we pull a new band through everything. Okay. So I'll do two more with you and then we'll meet back at the end. So two loops on my hook, same color, leaf stitch. Okay, so I release the first two, go into my chain, hook this right side on, pull it through the chain, and then hook on like that. So three loops means going back through and grabbing the next link. And then the plain band goes through all five loops on our hook. So two loops, leaf stitch. Okay, so I release the first two. Go through the chain, connect the one closest to the end of your hook. 
pull that one through the chain. Now I can reconnect that center one there. Like that. And three loops means I go back through and grab the next link. And then pull the man through. Like a boss. Super awesome, isn't it? Super awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll finish up. We don't have much to go. We'll finish up till we get to the last link and I will meet you back there for to show you how to close that part up. Okay, so I am at the point where I have the three loops on my hook and I have a plain band here at the end that's on my clip. So we want to still, we have to go through the side, which means we're not going to capture the last band. We're just going through the side of it. And then we're going to pull through our plain band through all five loops and close that up. So we can't take this band off of the clip. We can only put the right or the left part of that band on our hook. And then we want to slide it under these two white loops like that. And then we can put this back on like so. Okay, so that is what the one side should look like. And here's the other side. Okay, so if you can tell, um, there is two sides, as I had mentioned, to the bracelet. So with that being said, we need to loom it in the opposite direction to make sure that both sides match up. Okay? So we're going to go through the cap band, and the bracelet is going to be facing down. And as we did in the beginning, we're going to pull that plain band through the cap band and close it up. So... We kind of have a good idea on what bands to grab because we're just doing the same as we did on this side. So there's only two bands or two loops left that you have uh, a choice. So we're going to go ahead and put those two loops on our hook. And then we're going to pull a plain band through those four loops and close it up. Okay, so now that we have two loops, we know it's time to add the leaf stitch. Okay, so then we pull the leaf stitch through those two loops, like that. So then we have this right band off, and then we release the second band. Okay, so you got to remember which is what. And then we want to go down to the next chain and put it on our hook. So this time we're going to reach this band down to put it on. Pull it over my bead like that. And then remember we have to pull this band through the single chain like that. And then we want to come over to the left a little bit and then just slide that center band under your hook. So it's just upside down. This band is the same as it was before. And then we have this tighter loop in the center. Okay, so remember three loops. We add another link of our single chain and then we pull a And through all three loops like that. Okay, so we have two of the same color loops on our hook. Then we know when we do the leaf stitch. So we pull that through like that. So we want to release the first two loops, go through the next link on our chain, 
the first loop closest to your hook we attach and pull it through the chain. Go all the way over to the left and then allow that other loop to fall on your hook. Three bands, three loops on our hook means we go through the next chain in line. And then we just add one band through all five loops like that. Okay. Super simple once we get the hang of it, huh? So again, leaf stitch, pulling it through the two loops. We see that's the next chain in line, so I release these two first loops, grab this single chain, the first loop goes back on my hook through the single chain, and then I come around and place that loop back on my hook. So the goal is to always make sure that this band is on the outside. So three loops, go back in, and then we pull a new band through everything. Right, Blair? What do you think? Okay, so I'll do it one last time. Leaf stitch. Like that. Release the first two bands. Go down into the chain. Attach the last band. Pull it through the chain. Bring it over. And then connect. Three loops means the next chain in line. And then close it up. Okay, so this is what you should have. And here is the other side, which is equally gorgeous. I like it. It's very pretty. It's very lacy. Okay. So let's finish this up until we reach the end. And then we will meet back up for closure. Okay, so... I am at the end here, so I've got my clip, and I've got just the two bands on my hook, or the two loops, so, <clears throat> excuse me, I need to do a leaf stitch, and pull that through, and I have two more I need to go through, so my next one is this one, let me zoom in, I have this band here to go through. So I need to release these two, go through, put this one on back on, go through, like that. Okay, so three loops on our hook, we know we go back through the single chain, so we just slip through and pull a band through all five loops. Okay, so same as before. We need to get this. I'm just going to put both of my loops, my pink ones off, because I have to turn my clip. So I clip this right one, take it off my hook. Now I want to pull that pink one through under these two white ones. Like that. Zoom out. So you could technically finish your bracelet. I'm going to put another band there. Then this is the time that you would put on your C clip. Okay. Just going to use that one for now. So we are finished with the ornamental frame by the lovely Suzanne HB 
also known as Crazy Just Might Work on Instagram. I think these little flowers came out really awesome. And I think that we have made a potential breast cancer uh, patient pretty happy. This, I think, is going to be one that's loved. So there we have it. That's the one side. And here is the other. Super pretty. Love both of them. So a big shout out to Suzanne. Uh, wonderful design once again. And make sure that you do hashtag your renditions to Ornamental Frame Bracelet as well as to myself and Suzanne on Instagram. Make sure that you do. Also, if you are looming them in pink for breast cancer awareness, that you enter into my contest on Instagram, hashtag link for breast cancer 2015. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you're satisfied with your bracelet and make sure that you tune in next time. We've got a lot more coming your way. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.